Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Force Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Cassani Burke. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The state this month has recommended cutting funding from the University System of Maryland at Southern Maryland, and the local Higher Education Center's director isn't happy about it. Here, we are in the process of developing the new programs, and the other side wants to take the funding away. That doesn't make sense, Ben Latigo, the interim executive director of the Satellite Campus in California, said. Maryland's Department of Legislative Services suggested cutting $500,000 from the current fiscal 2020 budget of $1 million, and for funds to go towards the Workforce Development Initiative. It's also requesting to take away $300,000 from the same initiative next year. After weeks of budget talk, the St. Mary's School Board approved the superintendent's recommended school budget at almost $233 million. I commend Ms. Court and all the people in the Finance Department for all the work they do. Kathy Allen, Vice Chair of the School Board, said Wednesday night, referring to Tammy McCourt, the school system's finance officer. The working fiscal 2021 proposed budget was $234.6 million. But after the hearing, a reduction in anticipation state funding in the couple work sessions. It was dropped to $232.6 million. A group of St. Mary's middle schoolers can miss out on their trip to Italy this year because of the coronavirus outbreak. The COVID-19 disease first appeared in late 2019 in Wuhan, China, and has been spreading around the world ever since. Parents of the kids who plan to go to Italy received word last weekend from Karen Antonacchio, who runs the nonprofit St. Mary's Youth Culture Exchange, that the trip was off, at least for now. St. Mary's Public High School's class of 2019 four-year graduation rate was higher than the state average at 94.3%. Alex Jeffers, the school system's assessment and accountability officer, and Maureen Montgomery, the deputy superintendent, showed the school board at its Wednesday evening meeting high percentage rates not only overall, but in different demographic categories. A couple demographic categories, black students and students from low-income families, had a few dips in rates compared to last year, but school officials noted those declines are only based on a few people per category. Maryland's overall graduation rate is 86.7%, lower than all three St. Mary's high schools. Superintendent Scott Smith noted the state rate is high in comparison to the rest of the country, and St. Mary's has been above 90% for years now. Smith said on the graduation rate, that's really, really hard work, and we're proud of that really, really hard work. Of the high school rates, Leonardtown had the highest at 95.6%, which dropped kind of a close second with 95.3% and Great Mills at 92.9%. Jeremy Keith Hunter left, Sebastian Layton, and Murray Simpkins from the Discovery Theater perform Into the Great Unknown, African American Adventures and Explorers, a Black History Month program at the Lexington Park Library on February 22nd. The event was sponsored by the library, St. Mary's NAACP, Unified Committee for the Afro-American Contributions, and the Minority Outreach Coalition. Hunter is portraying the first black man in space, Guyan Stewart Bluford Jr., Layton is Ronald McNair, the second black man in space, and Simpkins is Mae Jemison, the first black woman in space. Now turning to sports. Following a dramatic end to the third quarter in which the lead changed hands six times, the North Point High School girls basketball team used a 10-0 run early in the fourth quarter to forge a lead over Great Mills and hold on for a 55-52 victory in the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference Championship game at St. Charles High School on Wednesday evening. North Point, 16-7 overall, led by as many as five points on two occasions in the second and third quarters, but each time the Hornets had an answer. Great Mills, 21-2, used an 8-0 run in the third quarter to take a 37-33 lead on consecutive three-point field goals from seniors Tillian Allen and Taylor Dean. The lead promptly changed hands five times in the last three minutes of the third period, one that ended with the Eagles up 42-41. As March starts, their cross teams at St. Mary's College of Maryland have already begun the 2020 season. Erin McDonald returns for her fifth year at the helm of the women's team they plan to build off of their nine wins from last year and added assistant coaches Kat Francis and Sydney Thacker to the coaching staff this spring. Seahawks senior Kate Bartholomew says, This year is unique in many ways, one being the fact that we are thrilled to have added assistant coaches Kat Francis and one of our alumni who graduated, Sydney Thacker, to stick around to help as well as on the coaching staff. That's all we have for you in this edition of St. Mary's Now. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonny Birch. Signing off.